Okay, welcome back everyone. This is where we left off last time. Just before I was going to enter the Badlands and show you the combat system and everything it has to do with. So let's just get right straight into business. Now, first thing you can see right here is a bar charging up. Now as you can see, it's like limited to like two points. Now I would be doing the second attack or I could do the grenade attack. Let's, I'll show you like the biggest attack first. There you go. You have to click the portrait in, in order to stop. As you can see now, if I leave, for example, the game is like stopped since it's my turn to attack. But if I don't click anywhere and I just simply let the game roll, it's going to go and go and go and go and go and go and go. There's no reason to leave it. Like, the attack won't be stronger. This is the strongest attack that I'm going to do. Now the animations for the attack are different. I'll show you. Like, as you can see, I charged up and I did 69 damage. Now I'll show you, sorry for that sniff, I'll show you the second attack. There you go. Now as you can see I've clicked just a bit after. It's not the easiest thing to like maneuver. This is the second. It's more simple as you can see it dealt 43 damage. Now let me go and find another enemy. Of course as you can remember the tab shows the map that little dot that is just going in and out is me. No. Simple attack. There you go. These wolves have like 20 HP. Just as a reference. And as you can see, you get... I got XP, I got gold, and you get skins. You can sell each skin for 25 gold. That's how I racked up most of my gold. Selling skins and killing uh, the wolves. Now, there are some stronger wolves right here. This one, for example, has more than 20 HP. If I'm not mistaken, it has 25 or 30. But since I'm already, I already grinded so much, it's easy for me to kill it since I deal a lot of damage. Now, there's this wolf right here, the one that I, I grinded the most, and you'll see why. If it would actually do what I'm waiting for, of course. There you go. It calls in other wolves. And I just kept on killing the wolves that it calls in. So I get more experience. If I'm not mistaken... Yeah, it calls in five wolves. By the way, to like release, let's say I clicked on the portrait to lock in like an attack. To release it, you just click right, you just click on the right click. Like left click to stop, right click to let it go. In case, like I do it like this. See, very close to it, but it's not. If I do an attack like this, I'll show you. It, it even shows here. Like it won't be, it will be just a weak attack. So you have to let it like, it has to be highlighted. Like this, see, it's highlighted. And now it's highlighted. Let's do a, like a grenade attack, just to show you how it is. Okay. 
and that's basically the combat system for one character that's the start of it now if you could even see because I clicked through it through all of those texts I got plenty of gold plenty of stuff now of course when fate cards come into play and two more characters there are a lot of things that you can do so everyone is free to like attack however they see fit now let's progress the story a bit by going into Aziz's temple this is going to be a long discussion I'm telling you guys so bear with me You're late for class. And where's Tori out chasing coin again? He's not here. Well, let us start without him. Are you familiar with the legends of Mardu? Yes, he was the great hero who defeated Gemma with the help of the Seven Winds. You get ahead of yourself, child. You know the final scene without the benefit of the first act. Marduk is but one of the principal characters of the ancient stories. Together, they all rule the use of spells. As you know, a great energy and power emanates from the central core of Septera, harnessed from the rotation of the world shells themselves. This very power is used by the core to regulate the rotations of the shells, creating an eternal equilibrium. The excess energy is radiated out of the core into the world. We use this energy called core power to run our machinery and cast spells. To cast spells, one must use ancient relics called fate cards to draw core power. Each card is its own spell, but they can be combined to create varied effects. Up to three cards can be combined, each played by a different user, each adding its own power. If any more than three are aligned, then the power is lost. Fate cards are ruled by the demigods of our world called Fates. The first is Marduk, son of the Creator and Fate of War, who defeated Gemma in the Battle of the Seven Winds, banishing him to the pits of Janak. The second, Kira the Angel, Fate of the Heart, who helped Marduk with her light and became his queen. The third, Dogo the trickster, fate of cunning, who used his illusions to ensnare Gemma. And finally, Gemma himself, lord of the dark, and fate of demons, who ruled Septera in mockery of the creator, soiling the father's great work with the blood of his children. Each of the fates can be combined with any other, and once you find them, you can use the cards as many times as you wish. As long as you have enough core energy. You must practice this technique to learn the ways of magic. That is all for today's lesson. Do the ancient heroes still exist? Their power does, and it helps watch over and protect the world. Sometimes I feel as if my mother is watching over me. Pray she watches over us all, my child. There we go, we got our first fate card. Master Aziz. How did you gain all of this knowledge and wisdom? Study and patience, my dear. But only time can bestow wisdom. Why does the core radiate energy? The creator fashioned Septera as a clockwork. Seven layers of floating continents called world shells surrounding the core. Connecting these shells is the great spine, a living axis which stretches from pole to pole. The shell rotations turn the axis and generate power, which is collected by the spine and funneled into the core. There, the power is used to regulate the speed of the shell rotations. Every 100 years, the alignment of the shells allows a beam of light to reach the core, awakening the machinery that sleeps in its depths. During that time, one has the chance to unlock its secrets and receive the gift of the Creator. What is Marduk's prophecy? After Marduk saved the world from Gemma and retrieved the keys to the core, he hid them 
Marduk believed that we were not ready for the power they could unlock. He taught his followers that one day, when Septero was in danger, the keys would resurface, and that with them, we could gain the power of the gift and use it to save the world. Did he think Gamma would return? No, no, child. That kind of thing only happens in stories. No, I fear there are much worse evils that this world may one day have to contend with. Evils like greed, lust, and ignorance. What do you think the gift of the Creator is? It is said to be the kingdom of heaven itself. I saw chosen ships today. Chosen? That's a bad sign. Why did they exile themselves to the upper layer? The Chosen are the descendants of Marduk's people. After his passing, they began to believe that they were the superior race. Soon, they discovered the Great Spine, the living axis which connects all the world shells of Septera. They learned that the Spine is a generator of power, tapping the very energy created by the rotation of the continents. They journeyed to the upper shell to tap that energy from the North Pole. With this new power, they began to twist and shape the very nature of life, sculpting great ships and weapons from the animals of the Earth. No one has communicated with them in a thousand years. Oasis scavenges the scrap metal and junk they dump from above. Do you think they're mad at us for this? No, my dear. They hardly notice at all. We are like ants to them. Mayor is using Grub's workbots as guards. Mayor shouldn't be trusted with such power. Still, the workbots won't do anything against Grub's programming. But if they were to forget... Pray they do not. Your temple is truly a great wonder, not like the patchwork of trash in Oasis. It is the work of a long-ago age when I was a young man. An emissary of the Seven Winds. It is a tribute to Marduk and his legacy as the savior of Septera. Who? Thank you for bearing with that. It's going to happen again and again and again. This game has a lot of dialogue. No. What's next? I got a fate card. As you can see. It's a water card. Now, it won't take too much for most of, most people to realize it's based on water. So we're going to have certain enemies that are weak to those attacks and certain enemies that are strong. Now I'll do just two examples of this attack to showcase. You go into your fate cards, you click on them, you equip them, and then you attack. It even says, attack with water magic. Each card has its own effect. And as you can see, 27 damage. So that deals more damage than the 19 or 20 I deal with a normal attack. Now I'm just going to do a full, full power cow, full power card attack to see how much damage that deals oh wait to use items you just simply go into your bag and use them now this is a mistake from my part because <laughs> I didn't see it takes six not five and it's going to use all the bar No biggie, we'll just wait a bit. There we go. Now, I'll do the demonstration. See, 41 damage. So, while it's stronger in the first attack, this deals less damage than I would deal as a full normal attack. So there are certain advantages and disadvantages to having this. Well, let's just go down here. As you can see, this is Grub's workshop. Let's just talk with him and see how he fares. 
Hey there, runner. Nice to see you too. Okay, so you have a runner here, a robot, <coughs> basically like a pet dog. Hey there, runner. Nice. Hey, Mai, what's up? Uncle says hello. Uh huh. Mayor says hi. Yeah, right. The mayor is using your work bots as his own little police force. I figured as much. That's why I left Oasis to work out here. Well, you could still come by and see us every once in a while, you know. Sorry. Sometimes I lose track of time. Okay, I'm pretty sure some of you even observed this. It's a power generator. Yes, it's an item that I'm going to need later on. Now, one thing that the game might not do so well is to explain to you what's next. Right now, if you never played this game, you're like, okay, so what do I do next now? I want to talk to Aziz, where do I go, what do I do? This, this is why I want to do a playthrough of this game. To have, more or less to help out anyone that would give this game a chance and wants to play it, since it's very old, so people might not like it visually but i still think even uh, like think about it this way this game came out in 1999 and graphically it's still like i don't know it it doesn't feel that old tori where were you at lesson um i had other plans uncle's gonna kill you not if you cover for me tori is just such a troublemaker Let's talk to Uncle. Now, there's only... These are the same as before. But this is the one that we have to do. Tori wasn't in class today. What? He asked me to cover for him. You better find him, Maya. Do you think he's in trouble? Well, let's hope not. Uh, check the water pumping station. He usually hangs out there. Okay, there you go. You got the hint. How did Aziz come to be our teacher? He is a wise man. He comes from other shells and knows more about the world than I could ever instill in you. Okay. So you said the water pumping station, that's where we go. <laughs> Let's go. Outside, this is the water pumping station or the pumping station. Oh, we have a deal, kid. But what if Uncle finds out? It's not my problem. Hey, who's that? Maya, you're screwing up my deal. I can't believe you're the smuggler, Tori. Hey, a guy's gotta make a buck. You're under arrest for smuggling weapons into Wind City of World Shell 3. Wait! Well, thanks, Tori. Little shit. Now, this fight would have been actually harder if I didn't grind. But since I've grinded so much, I'm just going to obliterate them. As you can see, they're barely even tickling me. And I just almost one shot them. But if I were to be like a level 1 or level 2, just going straight at the minimal, then I would have some problems with this battle. I think you have to be at least level 3 to stand a chance. But of course. You could always use items to kill yourself up. The, the thing is, with grinding, it's best to get it out of the way. Thus, the fights will last, won't last that long. Look at all the gold. And I got even a new fate card. Don't let her get away! Well, shit. Now I'm in trouble. Thank you, Tori. 
I should have known Maya was at the center of this. If you see them, let us know. Stand guard. Don't let those two crooks get away. I'm sorry, Maya. We can't let you into the city. Yeah, we have to stop you, report you to the mayor, and have you arrested. You would arrest me? The mayor is looking for you. He was very specific, you know. Stand guard. Don't let those two get away. And stuff like that. Mayor treats you like junk. Grub made you, not Mayor. Yeah, she's got a point. He is a jerk, isn't he? He's a slave driver. Like, he treats us like robots. I'm sorry, miss. We can no longer talk to you in an official capacity. We're on strike. Yeah, we're on strike. You go, robots. Let's go to Uncle and ask him what what's next to do as you can see there's no it's an old game so there are no like hints anywhere i could press like what's my next quest now it might get hard at times so you might walk around a lot talk to everyone multiple times until you know who to talk to maya they think you are the smuggler it's tori he's selling weapons he finds in the junk piles he went to hide out in Outlaw Canyon. You must find him and set things straight. But Outlaw Canyon lies past the pumping station. I've never gone that far. Perhaps Grub can help you. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see if we have anything new. Grub's not too happy. Nothing new? Do you think the Chosen Ships mean us? No. Do you think Tori is really the smuggler? It would not surprise me. His heart is ruled by coin instead of by conscience. Yeah, that's story for you. Okay. Now. I'll just walk around. Talk to like the few people. No, never mind. I'll go get Grub first. And then I'll talk. With the characters. Since I can add more dialogues. Shit. Arrest her! We can't talk to you unless you're an official union representative. We want better pay. I don't pay you at all, you idiots! Bye-bye, ah. Mayor. Okay. First of all, let's go and get Grub. Oh. Nah. No. I'm sorry, Runner. I wanted to click on Grub. It, sometimes it spazzes out. When hey, Maya, what's something. up? Tori's in trouble. He's been selling weapons from the junk piles. Sounds like his style. Yeah, well, he's run away to Outlaw Canyon because some soldiers from World Shell 3 are after him. Uncle sent me to find him before they do. Outlaw Canyon, huh? Wow, that's past the pumping station. Uncle thought you could help me get past it. Well, I've got to finish the repairs that... Mayor is involved. <laughs> Runner, heal! He gets upset when you talk about Mayor Maya. Can you help me? Hmm. Anything that goes against Mayor is cool by me. Count me in. Runner can help us out. There we go. Now we have three more characters in our party. Just to give a small stat. Here are Grobs, stats, more or less. As you can see, levels differ. It's only level 8, but the experience remains the same. So the experience is like the party experience. But each character levels up in their own way. Now, Grob here has a repair. He can, as you can read, repair mechanical allies or damage mechanical enemies. This is strong against robots, but it uses core energy, as you saw up there. Now, as you can see here, this he's weak he doesn't give much mana but he's very strong he's sturdy and his speed is very he, he charges up slowly but his attacks are more or less an AOE as in a line it even says attack hits all targets in a line so that is something to keep in mind because in certain battles 
you can hit multiple targets okay enough fiddling around with these guys let's just go out and explore I'll just go around go to master disease let's see what he has to say about all of this show you a bit of the combat for these other two characters there's even something I forgot to state as you can see I have a new card but you can combine cards now this one is grayed out so I cannot combine this card with that one but there are so many combinations in this as you can see for example I can heal myself up now if I'm not mistaken I think there is like I can hit my own character if, if the attack goes through it but as you see anything in that line would have gotten hidden by the laser beam now I'm just going to show you the max attack from Grob just to show you the animation of it since you already saw for my there you go now there's one problem with that sometimes the sound of the animation like it hits faster than it actually should it's an old game so have, you have to be mindful of this right now I'm just going to show you like runners strongest attack bear with me it takes a lot to charge up his attacks as you can see grab charges like twice as fast Look at the damage, 103. Of course, that's mainly because he's so high level. Just to put it into perspective for you guys that are watching, I've grinded almost 6 hours in this area. You can grind along with Maya or you can grind, grind with all three of them, however you see fit. It's all good. Let's just see if we get any new dialogues. This isn't a necessary step of it, but I just enjoy it. I like to explore every possible dialogue. Your thirst for knowledge is yet unquenched, I see. Very well. What would you learn of now? Master Aziz. Okay, we know that. You know, Maya, it was Master Aziz that got me interested in the sciences. Ma. You needed no prodding on my part. Okay, I see we have one new... Aziz, we were attacked by swordsmen from another world shell. They blame us for smuggling weapons to their city. You must fix the heart of this problem, Maya. Talk to Uncle. I already did talk to Uncle. Okay, let's see anything new about Mayor. Mayor is using gr... No. Okay, thank you, Master Aziz. I'll see you whenever I'll see you again. Now, I don't know how long this video is going to go. We'll see. I'll just stop probably before I go to the water pumping station. Now, I could keep on fighting and fighting and fighting with them. But just as a heads up. Maya did like 27 damage with this. Now Grob, since his attacks are weaker, his physical attacks are weaker as you can see, his magic is stronger. So you could basically use him for that. So while the combats are repetitive as in the enemies are the same you have plenty of options to use so no fight would be based would be the same 
also you can click in between the text as I have just done. So you don't get don't get the enemy get it uh, That's about it for the Badlands. Now I'm just going to go as I first I'll go up since I've told you last episode that I'm going to visit the factory just to show you what's here. Nothing much, it's just this. It's the factory. This place has been here long before the Junkers. Nobody knows who lives inside. Oasis ships its scrap metal here. I wonder what they use it for. I would love to get inside the factory. Can you imagine what kind of awesome technology must be inside? <laughs> now, you might have not noticed this, but runner's eyes they turn green when he's happy and red when he's angry. It's just a little added thing, I should say, the game. Now, let's just... This is the area that I tell, told you there's nothing here. I don't want to show you. Sorry, Maya. No one may enter the work area today. See? It kicks you out instantly. There's nothing you can do there, but we can do something in the junk heap. Basically searching around, maybe we'll find some items, don't remember, or some things to like watch. You can press tab to see. Oh, there you go. Can't reach that. Let's see if I can reach something else. You just have to search around. There's like no clear indication of where something is and where something isn't. These pipes and gear are used to melt down the scrap we find in the desert. All the junk that falls onto this shell from the Chosen is melted down here. Most of the scrap remains are shipped up north to the factory. <laughs> I know, that's all he's going to always do, <laughs> runner. But I still, I still do it anyway. Nah, eh, it's just some junk. Wow! Somebody threw out some cool stuff! I salvaged some usable stuff. Okay. An engine. <laughs> now, why is that important? It will be later on. As you can see, each character has his own dialogue. So, once you have more characters, Different characters interact differently with everything. I think that's about it for here. I don't know if there's anything else for me here in the jog. Yeah, because if I come up here, they won't let me pass. Sorry, Maya. No one may enter the work area. Even if you, even if you try to pass, like here, I'm spazzing out just trying to. As soon as you hit a point, you're like ah. Sorry. You're not allowed to pass. As you can see, the yellow um, square indicates an entry to another area, while the blue ones indicate a ramp. And the green is basically the walls. I don't know, is there anything here that I'm missing out on? Nope. Nope, okay. I can't get to that, even if I try. See, I click and I'm... Um, I'm too far away, I have to get around. Okay, enough of this junk pile. Let's see, back to downtown Oasis, okay. By the way, I got... a turbo engine. Which basically gives me more... more core energy. And a bit of strike. Now, first, I'll enter here, buy a few rings. Hello. Also, there is a steel mechanic in this. You can get caught. I need this. 
Let's sell all the skins we procured. Buying. You have to click on certain characters and then you see each item. What, like this one, I can't even use it. It even, if you look at Runner right now, he's the only one highlighted. For this, Maya and Grub are highlighted. Okay, so I can either have less armor but the speed stays the same or more armor but the speed goes down I usually stick with something that doesn't get my speed down and boots are the same see stronger armor this even gives me more speed but since Grob is one of the fastest characters in the game in this point it's better to just simply go with more armor then we click on runner and see what we can give him see he's already so slow so going even slower is just like no thank you i have to wait like till tomorrow until he attacks but this one of course now we'll just equip the items just click on the shoes double click click we have to buy the engines there we go then we go here it's easier this way if you click on this certain thing and you don't have to go through everything now we're all kitted out I'm just going Hello, to sell, take your time. sell her back the items that I don't need so I make back some of the money that I used and now I'll just show you like the steel mechanic for example Hello, take your Is you, you just click on it Hey, get out of here! And if you're caught, well, tough love. This is what happens if you're caught. Thieves get higher prices. There you go. Everything you have to pay more for everything. But as soon as you buy more items, the prices will go down. It's, it's they'll like forgive you. No. Let's talk with grandma. Welcome. Look around. Okay. Now Grub has quite some he has low HP. So I usually go for the iron heart for him. And for runner, he's a robot so he shouldn't have any problems berserking. True strike as well as for me. Let's equip those items. There we go. We're all kitted out. Now let's try and steal from her as Welcome. well. I saw that. Well, man, you suck, runner. Well, if it isn't the little fugitive. I think I'm seriously in trouble this time, Gozo. That's what you say every time. Well, don't worry. I won't tell anyone I saw you. The mayor's gone too far this time. Them soldiers, they say that you've been smuggling weapons to their enemies. It was Tori. Have you seen him? Not today. How are my workbots doing for you? Mayor hoards them all. <laughs> See, his eyes are green. That means that he's friendly with said character. Okay, now this is going to be a bit more of a dialogue in the bar. The mayor and some strangers are looking for you. Well, not that much dialogue since I've already went through all of this. Maya, the mayor's been turning over every nook looking for you. You guys know I didn't do anything. We know that. And you still won't stand up to the mayor? We're old man, Maya. We, we can't stand up to him. Someday, Mayor's gonna cause more trouble than you can ignore. Damn, feisty. Let's see, any new dialogue about the Mayor? Why do you guys put up with the Mayor? Eh, he doesn't really hurt anyone. Uh, besides, we're old. What the hell can we do? Ah, Grob didn't butt him. Have you guys seen Tori around? Oh, he's been junking a lot lately, down south. Okay, the factory. Hmm. Do you guys know anything about the factory? Whoever's inside takes our scrap in exchange for letting us tow for their water. 
My great great grandfather said he saw him once when our people was first tapping the water pipes in the desert. And they didn't seem to mind. He saw them? Oh, yeah. I don't believe him, though. Said there's just great big shapes on the horizon. <laughs> Do you guys ever leave here? Yeah. How are you guys? Huh, long time no see, Grub. <laughs> you found a woman yet, man? <laughs> uh, not yet, John. What the hell's wrong with Maya? John, stop it. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Poor Grub just got rejected by Maya. Hey, Maya. Hey, we're not supposed to talk to her, remember? Who told you that? The mayor. But we never listened to him anyway. Good. Never listen to mayor. Maya, you shouldn't be here. Don't worry, Maggie. I'll be fine. Is the mayor around? Yeah, and he has men in armor looking for you. What's mayor doing to the work bots? He's trying to duplicate them to create a workforce. More like an army, I'll wager. <laughs> okay, and here we buy some engines. Hello there. Would you care to buy anything? Third time's lucky. We're going to steal. Okay, as you can see, I can't put grenades onto runner. Only Maya can have this. No, let's see. Normal engine should do the job. And I think I've sold my turbo engine. But I'll put a normal engine on both of them. Doesn't make that much of a difference. Really. You can just go wo with whatever. Because they all upgrade your Hello stats there. anyway. Would you care to buy anything? It's just... You have to be mindful. Like... If I put things for stronger attacks I shouldn't use magic or if I put magic why would I use attacks and so on and so forth hello there let's see if I can steal something please runner show me there you go again until he throws me out hello there good again sorry prices are higher because of crime in the local area and perhaps if I sell a lot they can be lowered again see the same mechanic as I've told you about Hey, stop that! But you don't lose much, really. Like, there's no penalty for stealing, apart from prices being higher. Now let's talk to Uncle one last time. Have you got any more news of Tori? Uncle, tell me about the factory to the north. No one has seen those who live inside. They built the factory and the pipes that pump water across the desert ages ago. Our ancestors settled here because they learned to tap the water from the pipes. In exchange, we ship our excess scrap metal to the factory as sort of a tribute. They have never caused us trouble, so I wouldn't worry about them. Okay, any new dialogue? Do you think the ch- Nope. Do you think- Nope. Long time no see. You know, you really should stop by more often. Yeah, I sometimes lose track of time in the workshop. Gearhead, basically. Okay. Can I get a piece of bread from the fridge? Nope. Guess it only works when you have no bread. It gives you one bread and it's unlimited. So you can use that and the bed to like grind some points. Now I'll just walk all the way to the water popping, pumping station and I'll end the episode right there. Talk to everyone there is. Now it's time to progress a bit. Too much dialogue, more fighting. 
so this is where i'm ending the episode guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time